Hey, what's up guys? Travis here. Um, wanted to make a quick video because I knew I had talked about doing um, the uh, more scientific videos with things on tongue bite and things like that, and I still am, um, but it's been a pretty busy week and haven't had a chance to put that all together yet where I know exactly where I want to say and everything. So tonight I actually have a different video. I have a tin opening video. Um, the last video I talked about people's opinions on some Virginia blends, which I appreciate that, but um, for the next order I'm going to do. But um, one of uh, the viewers, uh, Gustavo Requiem Pipes, so I'll try to put his name here. Um, I don't even know if you can see all of me right now. I'm using a camera outdoors and can't tell at all what I look like, so sorry if I'm only half in the picture. Uh, but Gustavo, thank you for the suggestion of maybe I should make sure I know that I like Virginia tobaccos because I haven't tried one yet. So tonight I have Golden Glow from Samuel Gowith, um, Broken Virginia Flakes. Um, I think, again, this used to be like his Medium Virginia Flake or Mild Virginia Flake or something like that. So never been opened before. I'm going to try to get this. Um, where you can hear the seal pop. Ah, oh, there it was. So let's have a look see at what this looks like. So, mmm, smells good. Definitely understand what people mean by that kind of currant or raisin type smell. It's very, very light brown. So it's not. I guess I'm used to a lot more dark tobaccos like the Cavendishes and Latakia. I don't know how well you can see that, but hopefully you can see that all right. Um, it just kind of looks like a big pressed mess, but it smells delicious. Mm, wow, that smells awesome. Um, I'll say first, my first take it of the Virginia. It is broken flake. I guess is a good way to say it. It's just I would call it like toasted coconut. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this, but I have my trusty corn cob to try out a quick smoke of it, so I'm just going to try to fit it in there loosely and we'll see what happens. This will either be fantastic or horrible. Either way, it should make for good viewing for you guys, so you can either revel in my success or laugh at my failure at trying to pack a pipe this way, but if anybody's had this style of tobacco before, please say something to me, because I mean, I've had flake flakes, and I've had you know, the ribbon cut or the ready rub, but never anything like this, which yeah, it's just like, whoops, they call it like toasted coconut or something, so I think I'm packed up to some degree here Probably not a full bull, bull's worth. Hopefully it's gonna work out all right. Let's see how it goes. It's not packed up. And it just smells wonderful though. I mean, it has such a great smell. I don't know of anything about any kind of casing that's put on here. It definitely doesn't have the lavendery taste or smell to it that um, the other Gawith blend I had, which was Fire Dance Flake, had on it. So. I've heard lots of people talk about how you're supposed to sip Virginias very slowly because they can bite more often, which maybe I'll learn a little bit about that and when I talk to you guys about that in another video. So let's see how it goes. Hmm. That first light and puff was really good. That's sorry, I got a smack in there trying to get a taste of it. That was really good though. I don't know. Yikes! That <laughs> ember explosion there. I 
having a little trouble getting it lit, but I'm going to blame that on my strange packing. Next time, since this was a fresh tin opening, I didn't know what to expect. Next time I'll probably wrap it out a little bit better. Hmm. Man, that's really good. I don't know. Of course, I have nothing to compare it to Virginia-wise, but it's just nice and smooth and not, it's not a whole lot of flavor to it. So, I mean, but I mean that in a good way. It's, it's just not overpowering. I, I guess I would, I mean, I could tell what people are saying. It tastes kind of like they say like hay or like a grassy taste that I would almost say kind of almost tastes like kind of a toasted like a toasted taste almost maybe like a toasted marshmallow just a little bit sweet not sugary sweet but maybe marshmallow is not the best but man that just tastes wonderful Of course, these are just my first thoughts after just lighting up um, for the very first time. So yeah, Golden Glow by Sango Gala. So far, so good. Um, I think I'm going to uh, sit through and smoke uh, a little bit more of this bowl, kind of get an idea for it. And I will maybe post a second video sometime letting you guys know how it is. Otherwise, um, until next time, enjoy your smokes. And uh, keep posting vids out there. We'll see you guys.